Let's see how she goes right for the back. Oh my god. Right into the lungs. That is a cool. Oh, it's just right back in here. Wait a second. So fully loaded Malaysian King Cobra. It's got venom glands that are that big each. They're huge. One of the biggest venom yields of any snake on the planet. A lot of people think he's tame or he's habituated. He's smart. He knows who I am. For the most part, he doesn't try to kill me, but he has tried to bite me. Okay. He, he has tried to defend himself by biting me. But I can stand like far away, right? Uh, yeah, no worries. What's going on everyone? I'm hanging out here down uh, uh, with Chandler's Wildlife. We're, What's going on? We're at the outpost here, the famous Everglades outpost, and um, I got Kate with me. Kate's going to help out, but today is really cool because uh, I've never seen Chandler's set up, yeah. and uh, look, we're going to feed. We're going to be feeding a lot of the animals, yeah, too. We're, we're going to be feeding animals, which is cool, and the other cool thing is I'm going to get a lesson from Chandler on a uh, couple species. I, I want to maybe look at the Bushmasters. Yeah, I know you love Bushmasters. That's I my love favorite Bushmasters. viper species. It's... I've been raising these guys for about a year now. Okay, cool. Steve. Oh, hey, Steve. What's up? Uh, what's going on? Oh, okay, Calm down, Steven. Steven. Ah! Look, look at this uh, artwork we got. This oh, is Kevin, you do this my King Cobra. That's Kevin? Yeah, my friend did it, uh, Dreadfully Dead on Instagram. Well, that's the other snake I want to meet today, if that's cool. 100%, yeah. Awesome, look at thank this. you. Look at this. It's a mouse that says, don't tap on the glass. And then it goes into snakes of the world. That is so rad. Hey. Very cool, man. I love this. And uh, Let's of course, get this open. And as you can see, we have double doors. Right, which is what you need here in the state. wildlife. We have to have double doors, Beautiful. extra security, locks and closures. The room's a little bit of a mess because we were just cleaning tubs. And no worries, man. That's why we're here. If you need help, I'm here. Um, so Kate yeah. is a little nervous. I'm very nervous. About anything. Um, so so the, the protocol is gonna be like this. Kate's gonna help out with filming, but you guys know if you watch the channel, you know she's a little bit nervous of, of um, snakes. Where, what do you say? What does she stand next to here? Oh cheese. Looks like a lizard. That's, my lace monitor. That's the laces. Oh, Listen, there's the best thing awesome. to do to get over snakes is just to get oh, right into oh, it. Start, no, no, come no, here, no, no, come no, here. No, 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 don't no I don't want you to bring These are fine. These are anaconda. These are baby green Relax. anacondas. Relax. And what's okay. really cool about this is these guys are super, super laid back. Usually baby greens are biting. These haven't been anyone. Okay, Little kids just... hold these things. So let me get your hand. Keep Keep your come on. Give me your hand. It's fine. Look, just hold the anacondas. Just relax. Notice that they just crawl around. I They're not really in any kind of feed mode. Look, look, if she wanted to bite you, she would have bit you a ton of times already. Okay. These girls are really well behaved. I have little they girls this tall. Cool. Little girls this tall come in, like six year olds hold these snakes. They're no so problem. Much braver than I am. No, you yeah. did good though. You did good. Right. Here, hold, I mean, both your hands out now. Put your oh, both hands out. Really both of your hands out. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. Look at the beautiful green anacondas. They eat chicks right now. They eat chicks, not yeah. not chicks, not like yeah, they're, yeah, they're, 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 yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. Bad jokes all day. All right, all right jokes aside. All right, anyway, so let me so show you the Bushmaster yeah. right here. Right. Very cool. <laughs> no, that's mean. All right, but no, I'm really actually in all seriousness, I'm happy you're doing this. In all seriousness, because, can you take them yeah. off my hands? We don't yeah, want to. No we don't want to overdo it, but this is really yeah. cool. Hey, Ruth's here. Ruth. 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 Sorry, sorry. <laughs> What's Ruth's up, here. Ruth? Come on in. Um, really stoked. That's so funny. You did good, hon. Now, she's she's done a lot better since she's oh, moved yeah, into my place. Yeah. But she, like, guys, Kate is a New Jersey gal. My heart is beating out of my chest like a. Creep. But you did really cool. We were talking about that today about her kind yeah. of doing things as a Deep couple. Breaths. Well, no, just just as far as oh. a couple, we were talking about how like getting out of your comfort zone. You know, okay. Like we're married, so it's like a totally different dynamic than you're used to now. It's yeah. about like growing with each other. And so I'm really proud of you. That was good. Thank you. Figures it takes another man to really get you to touch He's their the snake. I've convinced a lot of people. I don't do want you touching like... any other men's snakes, okay? All right. So All right. Well, I trust. That's it. Why don't we take this? Because with me, I always like to take people who don't like wild, like snakes, reptiles, like when they don't like stuff like that. I like to push you into the fire a little bit. Well, you pushed me. But... So now can I just hold the camera in? No, no, no worries. She's gonna hold the camera a little longer. Let's yeah. get her. Let's get her cracked in a little bit because let's she needs to be ready for the king cobra. So yes. Yeah. Come on. Come on, the king cobra is 15 feet long. That was only like a two. Hey, look at that little guy. What's up, little fly river? We were, uh, I don't know, you're gonna show people on your oh, show yeah. what happens when these guys get big. So huge, we'll do that. Huge, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll have fun in an upcoming that video. Um, That's good. He's my baby. No, really, I wasn't ready for that. I know, and that's the cool thing. Sorry, give me one second. I'm just gonna peruse while he finds the. Uh, yeah, this is really cool, bro. 
so that's why I like Jambo because he's a man after my own heart. He gets excited about stuff. Um, he knows his stuff. He really knows what he's talking about. He's a great handler. And that's why I kind of wanted to come down here uh, and further our friendship and collaboration. And you know, Kate, you know I love people that love animals and this guy clearly I loves love animals. animals. I, it's all I do. It's all oh my gosh, look out. Oh, I've yeah, seen these guys that. wild. I've seen these guys in uh, Bob Bloom's uh, uh, tortoise sanctuary. A friend of mine out in Arizona, this guy Bob Bloom. We're just doing a tortoise tour. He's yeah. got sulcatas, galops, radiata. And there's one walking in around. Arizona. Boom. I remember just the walking. video. It was like that big, right? That's right. Yeah, That's I'm, right. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a camper. I've been oh, watching the videos. See, I'm a fan of you. You're a fan of me. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. You want to hold some? Are, yeah, let's do it. Let's All right, show cool. people. Um, the the world's one of the world's two, definitely officially venomous uh, lizard. But we're finding out more and more yeah, that, lots that a lot of lizards tree are venomous. monitors, tricolor tree monitors. They'll make yep. them swell up. They have a, a very light venom. Right. So it's really different with the helioderma with these guys being that Ooh, they are. Look at that. Look at the, are they locked Male up? Male and a female. Were they locked up? No, no, no. They're just oh. hanging out. Oh, that's cuddling so cool. each other. So the one in the back is supposed to be a northern Arizona heel monster because okay. it's got that nice white colors and real dark face. And then this one I was told is a reticulated heel monster. So okay. its pattern is reticulated. And you just acquired these, right? Yes, off Albert Killian. Oh, don't bite me, Mike. Don't bite me. Oh, Yay. settle down, settle down. Nice, puppy. look at Going that. Going through shed, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, my wife's far away. I was really gonna hand her the camera, but. Hey, come over here. Hey, Ruth, There's thanks, lizards. Ruth. Man. So yeah, you've handled these guys, right? I have. I Perfect. just like to just the shoulders that's over the it. arms, underneath the armpits. <laughs> yeah, that's look at it. that. This is a gnarly lizard. Look at those jaws. This is amazing. So you can see right here, it's a heavy body terrestrial animal. These guys are mostly nocturnal or uh, crepuscular. They're going to be out at dawn and dusk uh, and in the evenings, and they just walk around looking for something to eat in the desert. What pretty much like to me, the the Gila monster is the official lizard of the American Southwest. Oh, I yeah. Mean, oh, look at that lizard. That is so unique. Gorgeous. There's no other lizard like that. The Not beaded lizard is is related, but yep. man, they're, they're nothing like it. And those guys, are down in, face. those guys are down in Central America, but they are they are in the same genus, right? Gila yes, they're in the same family, but like the Gila's are, I think, are so much prettier. I, I do. They, and there are guys, I uh, my friend uh, from the Reptile Report, Robin Marklin, used to be involved at Pro Exotics. They were doing a lot of Gila monster morphs. They were yeah. breeding them together. Uh, they're no longer doing that project. But again, here's the problem with the, the Gila monster. Um, when they bite onto you, they lock on, uh, they've got those powerful jaws, and basically it's their saliva that is highly venomous. Um, so do you know, uh, can you tell me, I don't know uh, officially, they, their teeth aren't exactly specialized for it, yeah, are so, they? No, 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 so yeah. look at this. What's really interesting is when you look at it right away, when you're thinking venomous reptile, everyone uh -huh. thinks venom glands right here, real thick, yeah. right in the back of the head. But no, that's just all the muscle, the jowl mouth muscle to okay. help crunch down and hold on like a pit bull. Okay. Because in the thickness of those jaws, that's where those primitive venom glands are hidden. Gotcha. So the venom just oozes out as they chew. So, you know, they have a pit bull like grip. They gotcha. lock on and they chew. So if they found like a uh, a pack rat of some sort, a nest, they find the babies and they chew the babies up, injecting that venom and gotcha. swallowing them basically alive. You know, I love learning about this stuff. I always love venom because venom is modified saliva. That's what it is. And so if you think about lizards and snakes having a common ancestor, the volts in the, the group Squamata, um, basically guys, you're seeing how divergent evolution came up with something that actually uh, worked for both different families. You Isn't know that crazy? I mean? It is cool. And then how we learn that more lizard species have primitive venom exactly. types. So they have, they have like diluted venom. Even so garter snakes yeah. have a very mild venom. And that's why I, I remember up in Long Island, New York growing up, I'd get bit by a garter snake, it would itch. Yeah. It would always itch. So and, yeah. and that's a little bit of venom. So this is cool. This, oh, this is awesome, man. We're going to see some cool oh, stuff yeah. today. So we're, we're taking you through venomous lizards and uh, I, I love the way Chandler does things. He just flows like I do. Like we don't really, we had no idea what kind of video we were going to do, but here we go. So what I'm going to do. Have you ever heard of uh, the nickname suicide lizards for these guys? I've not, no. Yeah, so because of the pain of the bite, you just gently put them in. Yeah, sure what, I, what I want to do is I'm just, I'm a little bit more, I you have work, less. I, I know, you, you, know don't, what I mean? you don't work, I don't work with the these all the time. So I'm a little bit more like deliberate and uh, not gonna go kissing the Gila monsters, man. <laughs> but this is cool. This is what I need. I love immersion. I love to learn. And uh, gosh, with a guy like Chandler, he's doing a lot of cool stuff, man. So this is really fun. Uh, 
don't think we forgot about Kate. No, 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 please. I, I, I did, uh, now, I did right, my right. snake holding Let's just, let's, baby steps, all right? Baby steps. Was that slow. was a huge step for me. That, that was two even, snakes. Two that wasn't guns. even a baby snake. Let's do the king. For Let's you. do the king. Um, so Kevin is another one of those famous reptiles. You know, we've got Slinky in my channel. We got Guapo and Lola. Kevin the um, King Cobra. Kevin is uh, adorning the merch here that you guys can check out. Where can they get your merch, man? Uh, so, Spring. I just dropped it know. now. I've been check out his channel also. We're not done yet, but I'm just reminding you in case you don't know well, Chandler. Thank you. Thank you. I, I think they it. know you, though. But I think I, there's so much here. You might end up getting more than one episode. Well, there's who cares? So much flowing. We could do one we'll, episode. We'll save Let's save Kevin for the end. Okay, Kevin, that's fine with me. Kevin's the king. Well, we did come here to do something important. We yes, let's feed, the let's feed some Let's feed the bushmasters. Let's feed some bushmasters. I'll get the keys and I'll meet you right over there. I'm going over here. Ruth, just relax. Don't don't do anything. Just relax. Hey, look. Get the work room. Oh my God. No, look at Ruth this is here head. for when I run out. Yeah, exactly. So we got a little blackhead there. You guys know that's one of the species I absolutely love. I love blackhead pythons. And when I was in Australia just this past. Uh, Winter, um, I got to handle some really big guys. Yeah, Mike, uh, you can hold this nah, one. No worries, man. I'm nah. just showing people. Now, nah, keep, right, keep the business. He's, he's, he's ADD as hell, this guy. He'll stop and pull the everything two of out. You together. I know, I don't we're know pretty who's bad. More. We are bad. I've noticed that, that, that we kind of do circular talking, but we do pull yeah. it back. Yeah. You usually squirrel. Pull it back. <laughs> yeah, I thought exactly. I was squirrel. Squirrel. Oh, oh, did you? Oh, okay. <laughs> No, 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 yeah, go right now. No, 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 no. Just, just let her go there. Come on, I'm Chandler. You're gonna terrify her. All right, all right, cool. So, so here we go. Let's. Uh, why don't you come over here, Ruth, so you can get from right behind. Ken, you want to stand right here? Okay. This is gonna be your safe zone right here. So before we open it, what we're gonna do is feed these guys rats. I have two bushmasters. So let me see. I got some small rats in here. You want to use the right size because you don't want to give them something too big or too small. All right, just kind of poking through here. Yeah, I'm just see. feeling around and for the rat. There's a good there's one a right good there. One. Okay. So nice. these bushmasters, they always go for a land right over the back into the lungs. So they're going to want to bite this area. So the waist is a great place. So to they go. really do have a, a pre uh, preferential always, place always, to go. They always strike and go right over so, the back through the lungs. Very cool. So when I do this, you want me to allow the animal to you get it off the tongue yes. and then I just- I want you to hold free as possible. This is such, this is my most dangerous snake to feed. Compliment. Next to the All King right. Brown, this is one of the most dangerous snakes to feed. All right, buddy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unlock it first and I'll tell you how to approach it. All right. She's gonna be in that hide, right? Compliment. So she's gonna be in that hide. You're gonna approach from the angle. You're gonna try and tease her out. She's gonna come out and be like, what's going on? When you start to see her, bring it out forward so she'll shoot out and you can see her eat. Okay. Otherwise, she'll just grab it and pull into the box. Okay. Very cool. So this bush was the snake that I was looking for in the bush in uh, Costa Rica. Oh yeah? We were unsuccessful. This is Latchius muda. So out of all the Bushmasters, this is the largest family member. They can get upwards of 12 feet long. Right. They are the biggest viper on the planet. Check that out. And there is only one in here, I am imagining. Oh, I already screwed up. Here we go. Good job. Just get a little closer to the hole. A little closer. Just bring it to the to the entrance of the hole and don't drop that rat. You want to bring him out. You want to get that snake to come out. You in there, sweetie? She's in there. I see. Oh, wait, here she comes. Here, come. oh. oh, she's beautiful. Look at oh, that. that's beautiful. That head is incredible. I'm gonna flip the rat over a little bit so she sees the back. There you go. There you go. Let's see. Ooh. Right here. See how she shoots out? Yeah. Yeah, hold it downward so it looks like a like it's on the ground. There you go. So she'll go after that back. All right, she's just looking at your heat signature on your hand. Yeah, that's right. Bam! Look at that. See how she goes right for the back? Oh my God! You're right, right into the lungs. That is awesome. Look at that. She wow. is so beautiful. Oh my God! It is a beautiful snake. That's the snake that you know. I wanted. The, unfortunately, when I was in Costa Rica, no Ferdinands. No Bushmaster until I went to Reptiland. Uh, good friend um, Quetzal's. Uh, 
place, which is beautiful. Oh, I've been there. Beautiful. Yeah, I've been there. He's great. That was great my guy. first time to Costa Rica was stopping by his place. Yeah, he's cool, man. Uh, dude from Brooklyn or Queens, rather. Yeah, isn't to, that crazy? Yeah, he's, he's a speaks Spanish with a New York accent and uh, just really knowledgeable guy. Lived in the Canary Islands, taught himself Spanish. Two months full immersion, wow. learned Spanish, moves to Costa Rica. Uh, amazing guy. Amazing snakes, though. The yeah. Bushmaster. Very cool. So she's just, uh, is it's a female, huh? Yeah, this is a female, so she should get pretty damn big in the future. So what's top size on these guys? 11, 12 feet long. Stop. It is the longest, largest viper on our planet. And honestly, I think they rival some of our snakes with the longest fangs, because if you look at a, a adult Bushmaster and you look at its fangs, they, I feel like they rival. Bigger than a gaboon? I think they almost rival gaboons and manchang vipers. Wild. Yeah. And you know what? Even the Fertilance, a really, really big Fertilance, will have massive fangs. What? So I, I think some of these uh, Central and South American pit vipers, they almost rival the African gaboon viper. Very cool, man. Beautiful, beautiful snake. Let me get a little close. Look at yes. This. Get him up there, man. Look at Thanks that. Thanks so much. You can see the heat pits. You can see the beautiful black line that goes right past that eye. I love. That's the striking part to me is that design. You know, um, gosh, it's just a fantastic looking animal, man. Look at that. What a stellar looking snake. You can see those heat pits. Yeah, I love super that. acute heat pits. You see the nostrils right at the tip of the snake. And this is showing you the juxtaposition, right, of how we looked at the helioderma, the Gila monster and how it's kind of a very, um, I'd say, low-tech approach to Venom. And then you have the, the Bushmaster. Quick and this is the height of Venomous uh, it, it, intra, Intravenous route. Exactly, dude. The Straight pits, to the bloodstream. Uh -huh. it, it's the it's, muscle, it's a everything. very efficient murderer. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll, we'll try to get some more shots once she feels comfortable. Yeah, She's trying to eat it down so you guys can see how big her fangs are. At this size, her fangs rival an adult Eastern Diamondback, which That's I have also. Awesome. Those are pretty fun. You do not want to take a hit from any of these snakes, but certainly not that one. Check uh, this out. Uh, uh, right here, the scientific name, Lachius Muda. Get a close look so you guys know how it's spelled. Lachius Muda, or Lachesis Muda, translates to silent death. Because people walk out into the woods at night to go do whatever, they're not wearing shoes, and the pit vipers got such heat seeking acute pits, they tack people on the legs wherever and they get bit and they die. And it's it. a silent, quick death. Not quick, but. What type of venom? Uh, it's a mix of hemotoxic venom and uh, well, old vipers have hemotoxic venom okay. and I believe there's other couple components in there. It's it's nasty. And yes. the venom yield on this snake is incredible. When these snakes I first got them, they were just about a year old, only this long. I fed it a rat pup. The fangs went into the chest cavity, right? Into yeah. the chest cavity, dumped the venom into the chest cavity. It overflowed with venom and came out of the holes next to its, its sheets. So it just filled this little rat up with venom. And this snake was like this big at the time. Again, we were talking about saliva, right? If you're an animal that doesn't chew its food, you need all the help you can get to digest. So that's what that venom is actually yeah, doing. It down. It's breaking it down before it actually gets in. The, the, the side effect is it kills you also. Yeah. Pretty good stuff. Yeah. Here's your keys, man. Thanks, man. All right, no worries. Where are we going next? All right, let's, uh, ooh, you love monitors. Let's check out the laces. They're okay. hungry. Come on. Right here, we got the new yeah. uh, enclosure for the lace monitors. All right. My bell space is hiding inside oh that log God. right there. I, just, I got so many keys I out. love bell space. If there's a bucket list item or item, animal, that I would love to work with, it's definitely lace monitors. And the reason being is these animals have a wide range in Australia. Um, here in South Florida, we will get the odd cool evening. If you keep these animals correctly in an outdoor enclosure and you get them from the proper range, they're hardy. They can take our cold nights. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Ways. They're, they're the most southern monitor, right? That's right. Mo they're they on most south. In, in, in Australia, if you go south, it gets cold there. So yeah, east, south, east, southern Australia, yeah. real cold region, and you get the darker lace monitors, which is one of them I have is real dark. Let's to see. adapt yeah, to that so cooler cool. environment to conduct heat. All right, so you got the tongs, you got I rubber do. tips. This is Bell's face. His name's Jack. If you guys are fans of the channel, you might know him. He uh, is ridiculous. How do you like to do it? Are you just showing him a certain way? Or? He, I try to get him to relax, but just show him that there's food and get him to crawl up right here so everyone okay. can see him. So you want to come right over there and I'll, I'll go your way. Come on. Come on. He's a nut job. Look at him. Oh my God. And you can see he's going through shed. He just won't stop shedding. He's real, Dude. real pale right now in coloration. He's yeah, a that's beautiful a, that's lizard. a beautiful lizard, man. Look at that. Bell's phase. He's um, over two feet long. He's like three feet long, and I had him for just a couple months. This is for Australia. This is a naturally occurring morph. Uh, really cool. You know, uh, as, would it be? It's it's a locality. No, no, it's a morph. It is. It's a, a naturally morph. occurring. So, will these actually occur 
Let's get him another one. Um, oh, yeah, you can keep will these it. actually occur across? Oh, he's trying to get the camera. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Now you, let me rinse that You can off. put the food right in front of his camera and we'll snatch it up. Yeah, here we go. He's oh, that's why we use those Don't rubber eat the tongs. tongs. Yeah, protect their teeth. Yep. Um, no, what I was asking about these guys is since they are, will this morph be found throughout the entire range? Yes. It will. Yes. So it just happens when they breed, every once in a while they throw off. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's, it's a morph, so they carry that gene, and you could get, a, I believe you can get two normals that possibly carry the gene and that's you get a bell space. That's crazy. Yeah. That is crazy. And I then, thought it was a, uh, uh, like a locality. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's not a locality. It's actually just a naturally occurring morph, and you can you can get a batch of babies with a mix of the two, normals and Bell's face. That's right, actually right. where this little one came out of a batch. the The picture I was given was a bunch of normal lace monitors with Bell's face, Beautiful. and they all came from the same clutch. Love it. This is awesome, man. What's his name again? Jack. All right, Jack. Yeah, because he has a jack o' lantern uh, face on the back of his neck. Oh, right on. Little, little spooky oh little yeah, face. look at that. That's cool. A lot of the lace monitors, the Bell's face, they have like little patterns on the back, whether it's a smiley face or a spooky face. Or... That's cool, cool, man. Different. I got another one right here. Oh, you do? Yeah, this is my sweetie. Another Bell's? Yeah. No, not a Bell's, a regular one. Oh, oh, proper. Hey, do you want something to eat? Yeah, she's a sweetie. Let's see if she'll come, she'll out, come out here. She gets bullied because Jack just gobbles up all the food. Hey, little lady. She interested? I don't think so. I don't see her. Maybe because she feels the whole world is kind yeah, of... Yeah, I know. All right, Jack, Sometimes come here. Eat. Jack, come on. Good pig. Get it, mate. You there big, you go. You big dog? Yeah. I love them. I love monitors. Um, this. Oh, here she is a little bit. You're chasing around a little bit. Should I try yeah, it again? Yeah, because I've raised this animal. I'm not worried about pushing around the log a little bit. That might be a little too much commotion. Yeah, you. no. I'll just right. try to get her out so she oh, knows we're feeding her. Oh, right, Jack, just because I love you. Come here, kid. There you go. Oh, oh hello. Kid. How are you? Look at this. I got. I love when I get the lizard kisses on my ear. Only two people can kiss, or two creatures can kiss me. Her, right there. Oh God, I love it. And Chandler. Okay. You missed it. You missed it. It's okay. Oh. It happened. Oh. Chandler. What are you doing? Look at that little face. Some food now? All right, let's try it. Let her pick up that scent. You got These guys have known me since they were out of the egg, basically. Oh, little. Oh, what are you afraid of? A little. She'll little take fuzzy, it. Fuzzy, fuzzy, little. Got some good shots. Oh yeah, she'll she'll taste it. She'll want it. Oh yeah, we'll go back to that oh. snake. Ooh, the Bushmaster's eating. All right, we'll go back over. All right, yeah, she's a little. Spooky. Let's go back over there. A friend of mine was bit by a Bushmaster that bit down onto the prey item, and then he thought he was good. It let go of the rat, shot out, and got him with a fang. Love it. Good times. All right, Chan. All right. So locked up, good to go. Okay, we got a little fang. What's this fang from? That's from Childish Gambino. Of Childish Gambino. It's a Gaboon Viper crossed with a Rhinoceros Viper from Africa. That's berserk. A naturally occurring really? hybrid out in the wild. Because Very in the cool. Congo, these animals will be found in the same terrain. They find each other. And since they're from the same family, Bittus, because if you look, uh, Gaboon and Rhino Viper, the scientific name starts with Bittus. They're so part of the same family. They can make hybrids. Yeah. Another cool thing is live birth. So oh. they come out in little clear sacks and they shoot out. That's awesome, dude. All right, well, we're now going to meet... Um, I love king cobras. Yeah. I know you do. You donated to the King Cobra Conservancy. Yes, I did. Uh, um, awesome. Check uh, out the King Cobra Conservancy, guys. If you haven't, definitely donate. Check it out. They support wild king cobras. Rom Whitaker, one of, I mean, the, one of the greatest snake men Legend. the world Legendary. has ever seen, uh, is doing a lot of great work over there. Works with all kind. He did the uh, famous, uh, come on, the, the crocodile, croc bank. the croc, the croc bank out there. Literally a bank for critically endangered crocodiles, yeah. younger crocodiles, so gharials. Cool. You guys know I love Kings. Any chance I get to kind of yeah. interact with yeah. them. Yeah, we're, we're going to... So listen, you guys know that Ken's been working with venomous reptiles and wildlife for a very long time. He's yeah. been working with bush wildlife with venomous reptiles. Yep. He's basically getting his venomous reptile permit and he works under licensing. So this is the reason he's allowed to be in this situation. Any other person from... Like a random person from the public would not be able to do this. This is a situation where the room's locked up. No one else from the public is here, and it's under my supervision, and he knows what he's Very doing. Cool. So we're gonna bring out the King Cobras. We're, we might bring out two. We might bring out Kevin, or we'll bring out Kevin and Justina. All right, very cool. Where do, we, where do we put this thing? Right in there. Ah! No, I'm gonna put it somewhere else. Wanna dance? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it, all right. All right, so in all seriousness, we get serious. I always get a little bit more focused when we bring out venomous snakes. Um, so I've done this before with Tom Crutchfield with his snake Naga. Um, it's been a few years. Lapids are, in my opinion, always a little bit different than vipers. 
Kate's holding on to the uh, camera right now, but she's looking at her watch to see when she can leave. Uh, Ruth, I may have you come in since you're, you know, she's used little, to this stuff. Ruth's she's more comfortable. But you see what you see what Chandler's doing right now. We're in a controlled environment, but he wants to kind of open things up because King it's Cobra a is. It's a 15 foot long King Cobra. Oh, geez, there hey, you so go. I am definitely gonna yeah, go she's stand gonna be by the door. Here, give me this. Um, all right, so Kate's gonna am scram. So. First things first, okay. as you know, I don't I don't do any defanging. I don't remove venom glands. I don't do anything like this. This is a fully loaded Malaysian King Cobra. It's got venom glands that are that big each. They're okay. huge. One of the biggest venom yields of any snake on the planet. He, a lot of people think he's tame or he's habituated. He's smart. He knows who I am. For the most part, he doesn't try to kill me, but he has tried to bite me. Okay. He, he has tried to defend himself by biting me. So what so we'll do... He's a dangerous animal. Yeah, just you, putting that out there. This uh, is not a tame snake. And you know Don't what? I'm, I'm not trying to be a cowboy. I just... I'm happy to see you handle the snake. If you feel like the snake is in a mood that perhaps I shouldn't mess with it, that's fine. I'm going to let you um, get close. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, but with cool. the snake, like I said, this is a fully loaded King Cobra. Just so you guys know out there, this is not a tame snake. Because you're going to see me handle the snake in a manner that seems really wild. Because I've been working with wildlife since I was a little kid. Venomous reptiles, crocodilians, that's my forte. This is all I do. So if it looks dangerous, it is. But trust me, I do know what I'm doing for the most part. Okay. He did sleep at a Holiday Inn last night. So he is now a venomous snake expert. That's an old joke. I don't think you guys even know what I'm talking about. That's a, that's a me getting down with somebody joke. <laughs> no, there was a commercials. Where oh, I thought that was you're a... You're so well rested I thought that was a making joke. When you wake up, you're an expert on whatever might... Uh, that's bad. Is it bad? It, it's bad. It's I'm I don't digging. like... You want to start... Comedy <laughs> hole. See you guys. No, stay up. Stay up. I'm digging a comedy hole in hell. See ya. I'll copy out, buddy. Okay, thanks. Here we go. All right, so he's in the corner. I use the hook at first just to bring a coil towards me. But look at that beautiful, beautiful Malaysian King beautiful. Cobra. Okay. Beautiful big snake right there. I go real smooth. I'm supporting him at all times. I'm watching his head. The key to working with venomous reptiles or, oh, sorry about your tail, buddy. Well, crocodilians is you always keep your eye on the head. They don't got hands. So the head is the weapon, and you gotta keep your eyes. Notice I touch him on his back, he feels a little defensive. They don't like anything on top of their spine. So usually when I handle my King Cobra, I go from under and I support the snake. You give him support, gotcha. Yeah, support him. He's a little bit cold right now. He doesn't hang out under a lamp. Beautiful, beautiful. As you can see, he's got huge venom glands right on the back of that head. Well, the thing that always gets me with the King Cobras is the face. Um, and the other thing that I've noticed is the eyes of a king cobra are very alert and very inquisitive and there's a lot it, of knowledge lot, behind those eyes that, that's what i was trying to get you to this say this is a very sure. intelligent animal there look at this look at the size of the snake get a good shot look how big the snake is look at the tail tip is way over here yeah look at that that's a huge king cobra that's a long snake what I'm gonna do now? You've been listen. You've been in Southeast Asia looking for these animals, and you did find some. Uh, I, I hunted in the wild of Thailand, so I'll go look for king cobras. I went up and down the country of Thailand looking for them. Unfortunately, I didn't find them, okay. so I gotta go back to Thailand. But we were able to go to an illegal snake farm and pay for all the king cobras that they had illegally in this concrete enclosure. We caught up all the king cobras. We brought them to the wilds of Thailand. You bought the king cobras. Yes, we bought ten king cobras. They're all being kept on concrete. They had scale rot. They had their spine shown from not eating. Oh, their okay. faces were rubbed out, and they're on filthy, disgusting green poop water that they had to drink. So I offered the owner of the snake farm some money. He allowed me to catch up the king cobras, and then I took them to a private property and I spread them out because they have their own territory. So I spread them out throughout the land. You know, and it's one of those things. Like that was a really cool thing you did, man. And the reality is too, though, snakes have home ranges, and that's what the work that Ron Whitaker is doing is proving. This is also a venomous snake that builds a nest, yes. which is incredible. It builds a nest and it uses its tail and that long body to kind of pull together leaves and to build its nest. But yeah, just like a croc, and they defend that nest too. Just now like again, a guys, we're free, uh, not we. Chandler is free handling this animal. Um, this is something that he feels comfortable doing. This is something that you know. Uh, again, I don't want to it's give the impression everyone. it's not for everyone. No, it definitely is. That's why I was saying in the beginning, guys. It looks like I'm doing something really crazy. It is, but I've been doing this my whole life. 
It's like, you know, when the Gator Boys show out, uh, the Gator Boys show, when that came out, a lot of people were like, Gator wrestling's easy, I can wrestle an alligator. Yeah. So that it's the false uh, sense of security. Sense of security with people when they see something like this to think it's easy to do, but it takes a lot of experience. It does. To and, off. and that's why, guys, you know, my channel, um, you know, I don't want to get all up on the snake. I'm happy just to see him interact with it because, you know what, this is not my forte. And I really. Uh, I wanted to come down and kind of learn from Chandler and see what he's up to because we've really developed a, a kind of friendship here uh, in what we're doing. What, so, the tail. Yes. I, I'm oh. controlling the midsection. Oh, Don't worry about it. All right, I'm going to trust you, mate. Um, you just tell me when to go. But You're this, good. this You're is better. beautiful. This snake, just, just to feel the, the power. Where's my wife? Go ch take a real quick look at my wife. Am I safe here? You're fine. You're Am fine. I good? Support okay. Al. Keep the animal over here the whole time. So my wife is Amstrand. Um, feeling the snake is much like when you feel, um, you know, when you when you first feel a python for the first time, you feel that strength in the animal. And what we're looking at right here. Is and believe me, I'm paying attention to the head. Yeah, I know, um, Kenny, you're not in a lot of situations with king cobras like this, right, so right. I understand you nope. have a healthy respect for them, and you should. Yeah. You definitely should. But if you guys right. look, this animal knows yeah. me. I'm treating with the utmost respect. I'm not restraining him by the neck, I'm not restraining him anywhere on his body or putting pressure on his spine. The snake's one big spine, we both know that. It's right. a spine and a skull, so. You damage any part of that, this animal is gonna be in detrimental health. I also have to say, uh, we're also, Adults and I this there's an inherent risk to what we're doing uh, when you work with these animals A bite may happen and it's part of the job. Um, what we're trying to do is really just show you uh, yeah. What these animals really check it out. Yeah. Handle the body a little bit copy that so this is a Gorgeous gorgeous snake my god. What an honor um, you right. know, It's an honor it, to, work it's with an honor like to this. hold this animal. So he's, um, just coming, he's coming around. He's checking everything out Right, and so what do you want me to do? You're what? fine. You can I'm let right. go if you want. No, I'm all right. I mean, you're good. Yeah, yeah, just keep on on. I just make sure that he doesn't come anywhere near you, so you don't have to do it. I do appreciate away. that. But if but you look, check this out, guys. You see those very light yellow bands that are going down the animal? That is what's called the chevrons of a king cobra. Those light bands. So. Malaysian king cobra, they have yellow neon chevrons like the sun. And this is the world's largest venomous snake, and it also has yeah. an incredibly long range, doesn't it? Yes. A wide range. From year. India throughout all Southeast Asia into the Philippines, they have such a wide range, it is insane. So this species, even though it is classified as one species, Ophiophagus hannah, See, it comes after you a little bit. Yep, that's fine. It's all about staying calm and not moving too much. The more movement will How did I do? You're fine, but the thing is, if you move too much, he picks up on it and will pursue the movement. Well, I ain't gonna so, lie, dude, that, that got the heart going. No, no, you it's, know? it's a 15 foot king cobra, you have every right well, to be Well, the other thing that I have learned is as the animal's turning in this way, there's a way I should turn as well, correct? Exactly, you okay. should go with the flow of the animal, never against the animal. That's so, what I was trying to do, but then he's just getting a little too close, buddy. But this, this is great. I'll tell you what, Chandler, I think this is a fantastic place for us to end this video. Oh, We've seen a lot. Sure. Uh, Chandler and I have struck up uh, a really fun friendship. So I know we've been filming a lot recently um, just because we're geeking out on each other's stuff. I'm going to pull the so, back. Right. Yeah, go ahead. Well, you go back. Yeah, go ahead. Or you want to do the outro like this? Well, no, the outro is good like this. Let's okay. finish like this. Okay? All right. Everyone's seen, and you've seen him put a 15 foot king over back. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. what I wanted to say is thank you to Chandler for letting us come down. No worries. It's always uh, a pleasure. It's really cool to learn from you and see how you handle these animals. Uh, and, guys, if you haven't already, go check out Chandler's channel. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of fun stuff in the future, and Chandler and I are going to be working on some conservation projects in the future because. That's our true love. All right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. And say goodbye to my wife, Leah. She's right there behind you. Uh, so go ahead, show her. Hey, come on back. Come on in, Kate. What are you doing? What's wrong, Kate? What's wrong, Kate? Is this a snake? Oh, my God. I'll tell you what. I'll see you guys later. I'm right here. Stay beautiful. See you guys. That was good. <laughs>